channel today I have a monthly September message for all of the Aries out in the collective I want to point out that this is going to be a general reading so it is not going to resonate with every single Aries out in the collective I ask that you take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind if you are new to my channel welcome to Eileen into spirit my name is Eileen Rouse I'm a psychic intuitive and a spiritual essence coach and I provide you with guidance wisdom and inspiration every other week right here on this channel. Without further ado, Aries, let's go ahead and dive right into your monthly message. All right, Aries, you know the drill. This is gonna be a nine card draw, so let's go ahead and get shuffling. So remember that the first card that comes up is going to represent where you currently are, Aries. And right now, you are at the nine of wands. So I feel that a lot of you have been working really hard um, towards some specific goals, some um, specific dreams that you've been trying to sort of work your way towards. And I feel like you sort of feel like people are against you. And I want you to understand that that is just a limitation that you have set for yourself. I don't know if maybe it's because you're looking at this specific limitation as sort of a way to sort of um, pump you into gear as if it's sort of helping you kick your butt into gear almost. Um, but I do want to point out that I feel that you guys are approaching the end of what I feel is sort of this cycle of not living up to your own dreams or your own expectations. And so I feel that you're very inspired you're very motivated to sort of push towards something um, that brings you a lot more joy, a lot more passion, um, and you're not going to let anything stand in your way. And I love seeing this for you. It's great fire energy um, where you're starting out. I do want to point out, don't let um, other people's um, ideas or um unsolicited advice sort of hinder you from taking a uh, from taking a step forward right like I don't want you to step back I want you to step forward okay now your theme this month is the lovers okay this is good this is about choices right it's about really aligning yourself this month with the choices that are aligned towards maturity and growth okay um, I do also want to state here that the lovers also represents partnerships, okay, um, and commitments, contracts, those kinds of things, okay, and I, what I want to point out is that maybe for some of you, this is really about getting into a new partnership, whether this is going to be a new business, a new career, whatever it might be, um, it's really about tuning in to your own inner guidance, recognizing how you what's best for you, right? A lot, making sure that you're not making choices just to make choices. It's really about weighing out your options, being very mature, very meticulous, really aligning with what is in it for me in the highest good and the highest good of all here. For some of you, this could really be um, a new love relationship that is coming in um, because it is the lovers, it is the theme. Um, and you are at a nine of wands, which means you're stepping out of your comfort zone and sort of moving towards something new because you're wanting sort of this new adventure. Um, so for some of you, it could represent um, a new relationship that's coming in. So let's see what you're accomplishing this month. Okay, so your accomplishment is the Eight of Pentacles. Yes, you are definitely uh, Aries. You are definitely working towards um, something here that you are becoming the master of. It's sort of like um, really um, honing your skills, honing your talents, really allowing your skills and your talents to really speak for themselves. Um, and I, and I do love this because I feel like you're really, I feel like what you're accomplishing is for some of you, it could be like moving in a new career, right? Like moving in a new direction. Maybe some of you are getting a promotion. Um, maybe some of you are changing careers entirely, right? 
Um, but I feel that this is more in alignment with what your heart truly desires and what makes you feel more alive and more inspired to um, continue on that particular path. So um, I do want to point that out. Now, what do you need to, um, okay, <laughs> they're correcting me here. <laughs> Okay, so this is also going to be um, what you are accomplishing, which is the Six of Pentacles. Okay, I do want to point out here that I feel that this is really going to be, um, for some of you, and I keep getting this in regards to like um, maybe a promotion of some sort, um, some of you are actually, because a lot of you have been working really hard, and a lot of you have sort of crossed specific barriers and you've sort of shown your worth and you've shown how committed you are and you've shown um, how mature you can be with certain specific things and you've sort of taken the lead in becoming the master of something, some of you are going to be getting a pay increase, okay? Um, so I do want to point that out here, Aries. I also want to point out that this is really going to be a time here for this month where you're going to start recognizing where you're putting your focus and your energy, and you're going to really start balancing things out. The one thing I love about the Six of Pentacles, it's really about reciprocal energy, making sure that there's an equal amount of give of energy and an equal amount of take of like receive energy, right? Um, I feel that for some of you, because you started out at the Nine of Wands, some of you are have just been sort of, you're exhausted, right? Like you're tired. You're tired of wasting your time, your energy on things that are not fulfilling you and that don't bring you a lot of joy. And so this is why a lot of you are making different choices and moving in a different direction that is going to not only help you become um, more talented and more skillful in something, but it's also going to give you, maybe for some of you, it's more money. Maybe for some of you, it's more appreciation. Maybe it's just being more creative, whatever it might be. So this is what you are accomplishing this month. Now, what do you need to avoid this month? Okay. All right. So we have the Ace of Wands in reverse as to what you need to avoid here, Aries. And what I'm really feeling here with this Ace of Wands is that I feel a lot of times, Aries, because you're so passionate and you're so driven into what you love to do, right? You get all of these ideas and all of these, it's sort of like your to-do list is like longer than everybody else's with the exception of Virgo, I want to point out. And I feel that you are trying to check like every single box on that to-do list. This is what you're needing to avoid. Avoid getting so ahead of yourself that you're not actually taking action. Wands energy is really about taking action, right? We have a lot of inspired ideas, things that we're motivated and, and really passionate about and things that we want to actually focus upon. But with this Ace of Wands in reverse, I'm really looking at it, looking at it as you know, not really taking action, not putting forth the action steps towards those inspired ideas or the things that um, are really coming into fruition for you. So I feel this is what you're really needing to avoid. Um, and also, I, I, what I keep hearing is, you need to spend time really focusing on your dream. What does that vision really look like for you? What is it that you're truly trying to manifest? Um, really spend time. We've come to the precipice of a time here, um, Aries, where we are being called towards really focusing on our greatest desires and our heart of hearts desire. And so you're needing to focus time on that because I feel like maybe you're so driven and you are you really want to accomplish so many things that you don't actually put aside time to focus on your dreams, on your visions, on your goals. And that's something that you're needing to actually do. Okay, now what do you need to embrace this month, Aries? What does Aries need to embrace? Consistency, I love this. The Knight of Wands. Okay, Aries, you have so much fire energy in here right now. So the Knight of Wands is this adventurous um, type of energy that really, um, here's the thing. Sometimes the Knight of Wands can be very inconsistent in their efforts, okay? And so I feel that what you're needing to embrace is this thrill, this excitement, this desire for new adventure. Um, 
and that energy. Like, don't let that energy fizzle out. So you're needing to be consistent, you know, really focusing step by step. What are the action steps that I need to take towards achieving the things that I'm really wanting to achieve here? Okay. Now, here is what I'm hearing for those of you that this represents a relationship because I, I wanted to wait till I got to this point to kind of understand what, for those of you with the relationship. So um, for some of you, this new partnership, this new relationship that's coming into, into your space here, I feel like a lot of times when we have a new relationship that comes into play, we get so lost um, in the actual feeling of being in a relationship that we tend to lose ourselves, right? I want to also point out here that it's going to be very important for you, Aries, here to really, really pay attention to the type of energy that this new person brings in, okay? Because I do feel like it's going to be a younger energy that comes in for you, um, and I do feel that this is going to be someone that's very dedicated um, to their to their career. Like they're going to be they're, they're someone that's very dedicated, someone that's passionate, someone that's very creative, very adventurous. But they're dedicated. They're it's sort of like they're married to their job. Okay, so they're not really going to fully invest a lot of time and effort in the relationship, and you need to be very aware of that. All right, so what is the obstacle here? What is the obstacle? Okay, we have the nine of pentacles. I feel that your obstacle is really going to be, um, Aries, that maybe some of you, um, you know, if you're moving in towards a new career or you're changing careers altogether or you're, you're sort of getting a promotion into a new role, um, I feel that the obstacle might be that you might doubt yourself. You might doubt your skills and your abilities, and you might doubt that, you know, you've actually achieved something. Because I know a lot of times certain individuals tend to feel like, well, I didn't really accomplish that much in my old career or in my old job, um, so am I really fit to do this job, right? And here's what I want to point out. It's important that you remain very grateful, that you recognize each thing that you have experienced in your life. Because whether it was truly successful or not, failure, whether it was a failure or a success, either way, you gain something from that experience. There was something that you learned from that. And so it's important that you remain very grateful. Um, here's the other thing about Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is a very independent energy. And I feel a lot of you will only rely on your own resources and your own skills and talents. And that can sometimes hinder you from truly um, going on this new adventure. So understand here that, you know, don't just focus on your future. You really need to focus on the present moment. Really allow yourself to be immersed in the full experience of what you are experiencing in the moment so that you could truly understand what are the synchronicities, what are the opportunities that are being presented to me on a day-to-day -day basis, and how is that going to benefit me towards my dream, my vision, right? So I want, I want you to really, really understand that here, uh, Aries. Now, what is your support this month? What is your support this month? Okay, we have King of Pentacles with the Death card as your support. Okay, King of Pentacles energy is supportive energy, and it's also very, um, it's that Midas touch kind of a thing. So I feel that your support this month is that you're going through this um, rebirth, right? Like you're, um, you know, death is really about transformation. It's about change, right? And sometimes it's the change that we often tend to resist. But I want to point out here that even though this is going to be change in a new direction, uh, something that you may not be familiar with, understand that you do have all of the resources that you need. Um, in fact, you have so many resources that you might actually be able to help others, okay? So I want you to understand that you are supported here. Someone is sort of backing you up here, whether that's spirit or that's someone else in this new partnership, whatever it is. 
Um, they're here to support you and help you make this necessary change in your life to help you build towards that future, that legacy that you are trying to ultimately create for yourself here, Aries. Now, what is your action this month? This is important. What is your action this month? Okay, your action, King of Wands. Okay, Aries, I cannot literally, like this is so much fire energy. Um, for you and you are already a fire sign. So your action is to take the lead to um, Really step forward Take action really allow yourself to be the authority figure in your life and allow yourself to Stand front and center in all of the decisions that you are making now for those of you in this that, that's representing this new person that's coming in um, in regards to a relationship, <sighs> you know, for some of you, I really feel this is sort of like a test. Um, cause I feel like a lot of you might've already experienced, like this is not the kind of energy that you're really wanting in a, in a relationship. And so I, I'm really feeling that this is something that you ultimately need to, I think you need to really evaluate you need to really evaluate what your beliefs are in, in, in relation to relationships, okay, in regards to relationships. What do you really believe? What is the story that you continue to tell? Because I feel like this is a sort of like a cycle that is being repeated. For some of you, this is like, uh, this, is, this is a contract, right? Because we have the lovers with the Knight of Wands and the King of Wands here, this is a contract that you are meant to go through and experience, but it's really about you becoming independent and really learning to listen to your own intuition and letting it guide you so that you could change the script that's going on in your head here. Now, what is your advice and your encouragement? What is your advice and your encouragement here, Aries? All right, the High Priestess. It's about intuition. It's about the wisdom, the innate wisdom that you already possess, that is already within you here, Aries, um, that is going to guide you blindly, right? Like you don't, I feel a lot of times we look for the signs outside of us because it gives us a sense of clarity that we ultimately feel we need. But what Spirit is saying is that you don't need this. Like you are being led. You are being led by your own soul, your own spirit. As long as you tune into that and you align with your own frequency and your own vibration and you align with your own joy here, you will ultimately be able to see everything that is that you feel is being hidden from you. It's not being hidden. You're just not aware of it. You're not focusing on it. That's why it feels like it's hidden. For those of you um, in regards to this relationship, um, I feel that this is really about you really, again, listening to your own inner guidance, listening to your own intuition, and, and really uh, changing that script in your mind about relationships. I wanna point out here, because this is what I keep hearing in my head, I keep hearing that the story that you continue to tell about your previous relationships is what you are ultimately recreating because you are stuck in the past, right? Or you're stuck in that, that meticulous loop um, and you're needing to change the script. You're needing to really focus on what it is you want and not focus on what you don't want. And also, how, how, what are the words that you constantly vibrationally say when it comes to relationships, right? How you feel and the things that you think about and you perceive is ultimately what is being created for you here, Aries. Um, so that is the message for those of you that this represents a relationship. Now let's go ahead and get an additional card from the Sacred Creators Oracle deck and see what additional information and insight spirit has for you, Aries. What additional information and insight can you offer Aries this month, spirit? What additional information and insight? Okay. 
we have your soul shines okay we are going to read from the book here to see what this says um it's interesting i haven't seen this card and i'm i kind of want to say that i feel this sort of gives me vibes of the star card in the tarot which is about um being hopeful right um and allowing yourself to heal from old old wounds but let's see what the what it says in the book your soul shines okay underneath the smog of a difficult day or the impatience of a frustrating situation your soul is there doing its thing shining it may require some buffing and polishing of the exterior and you may need to do some habit busting to sense it. You may need to expose your raw and tender underbelly to pinpoint it, especially if your shine is hiding under a few thickened layers of hard knocks or a self-destructive lifestyle. Sometimes we have our perspective so shifted that we can't see this shine in others or worse still, we can't feel it in ourselves. Know that it's with you, bringing magic to the mundane, because we are all connected to source energy and to cosmic grace. Your soul is always here, just shining through your flaws and your secrets. It's lovingly pushing through your insecurities and any positive affirmations you're working on, even the ones that aren't working yet. And it's so proud of you, no matter where you're at, you are loved from the inside, from the soul side out. Decide to open up your connection to its ascension and get out of your own way by trusting that your brilliant soul will radiate peace in every room you walk into. You have that choice. It's waiting patiently for you to ask because it will lead whenever you are ready. Aries, this is your beautiful message. I absolutely love how it um, really sort of summed everything up for you here. I, I feel that it's important. I feel the biggest message for you here, Aries, um, is that you really need to listen to your soul. Allow your soul to really truly light the way and just follow it. Because once you do, you're going to see how limitless you really are. And you will be able to move past any barrier that has been put in front of you. And you'll be able to accomplish anything your heart desires and so much more. So Aries, this is your message this month. I thank you so much for joining me today. And I look forward to seeing you next time with your new message. Namaste, guys. Mm -hmm.